the first stop on our trip for today is a island called Cory Island. My JTE recommended this place for us to go and because of this really nice bridge um, that you will see in just a second, basically this place is beautiful. The ocean is so blue and the beach is real beachy and we were coming here for lunch so we were starting our day off getting some lunch at this nice little restaurant. The ladies at this restaurant that you're about to see were super sweet. They didn't speak a whole lot of English, but they really did try their best to explain to us like how to eat the food and like talk to us. They weren't afraid to interact with foreigners and I really appreciated that. Okay, so uni, sea grapes, miso soup. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And jasmine tea. Mm. Evie, do you like it? Mm. Yeah. Yay. And then this is our view. So that's the bridge that we were on earlier. And this place is so cute. Okay, so I'm gonna try sea grapes first. Mm. <laughs> so they're salty like seaweed. But they pop and bump they pop in your mouth like um what is it? Salmon roe. Oh yeah. So if you like salmon roe, this is for you. <laughs> This is uni, which is sea urchin, right? Yes. Hmm. I've never had sea urchin before. Oh! 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 So sea urchin kind of has like a like slimy Delicious. taste to it. Delicious. Delicious. <laughs> mm. This one, this coco, Oh, so 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 Okay. Mmm, yes. So, kakete tabete mitte. Oishi. Kore mo ne, kaketara? Koi koi ne. Oh, mix. Oh, koi koi ne. Yatta oishi. Dakara, uye ni kaketara iye ne. Okay. Jozu da ne. O hashi. Oh, that is good. What, you added it in there? Mm, oh, wait, 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 dip it, dip it. Oh, dip it? Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Is it obvious? <laughs> but yeah, like I was saying, uni sea urchin kind of has like a slimy taste to it, so if you don't like slimy stuff, like, get something else. But this is really good. Okay, so we decided to come to this beach that's like right by the bridge. It's so pretty. <laughs> TV. It's so beautiful out here. We're trying to get pictures and stuff before we go see the Doraemon door. And neither one of us has sunscreen because we didn't think it was going to be hot enough to come to the beach. 
but it is hot. So it's so beautiful here. I like, one thing I hate is when people are like, oh yeah, the blue, the ocean was so blue. Well, no, duh, what color was it supposed to be? But this ocean water is blue. Like, it's like seaside paradise blue. <laughs> So we are at the Upam, Upama, yeah. Upama beach to try and find the Doraemon door, but unfortunately it's not out here because I think they take it down every couple days or whatever, so it's not here. There's no door! So we're going to walk around the beach a little bit and just like try to explore. It's right next to this hotel, so I think that the hotel determines whether or not it's going to be a... a Instagrammable day or not. I'm so sad because my kids recommended this, but I can't see it. So Otherwise, we do have a, still a really beautiful beach view. I think over there Is the bridge that we were on? Yeah, that's the bridge that we were on over there somewhere. But yeah, so we're gonna walk around the beach a little bit We're gonna walk around the beach a little bit and then we're gonna head off to our guests our next destination so we'll be doing things a little earlier than we intended we are at Nakijinjo in Okinawa and it's a world heritage site it used to be a castle so we are at the castle ruins it burned down in 1609 due to the Japanese but you know shh, they don't know um, and it's just like rocks and stuff you know this is Evie's if you, if you know my channel, you know this was Evie's choice. <laughs> um, but it's actually really pretty. I want to climb on the rocks, but you can't climb on the rocks. So we're going to walk around a little bit. And it looks like really old school and ethereal. Like, very nice. These castle ruins actually used to be a part of the Ryuku Kingdom and um, basically you can see really nice views from here as well as all the castle walls are still standing. This place is actually a lot bigger than I was able to even catch on film. We couldn't go to one half of the park because that part was under construction. I think they're just trying to stabilize some parts, but you can go into the grotto area that's uh, below the castle wall. You just can't climb on the castle wall. And then our next step was the aquarium. So this aquarium is famous for housing the infamous massive blue whale shark um, and fun fact about this aquarium there's actually a area that is fully dedicated to the reproductive system of whales and sharks and it's it's interesting needless to say i have not seen so many fish genitalia in my life and if you are interested to see what that even looks like, come to this aquarium. It was very interesting. Other than that, it's very beautiful. It was really peaceful and they have a ton of really interesting, cool names for all the fish here. I think you'd also enjoy just the sheer number of exhibits they have in here. We were able to spend pretty much the rest of the evening at this aquarium. Okay, so change of plans. We are not going to the observatory before the sun sets. We are going to go see a dolphin show first because it's free and it's in 15 minutes. No, it's now. Oh, it's now. Four, four, fifteen minutes. Uh, yeah. And then maybe we might eat something. Okay. It is bright.
Okay, so we are at this observatory to try to see the sunset. And I think we're like, just barely, just barely gonna make it. Whew. Stairs, y'all know how I do. <laughs> he looks like an angel. <laughs> I don't really know which side the sunset is supposed to be setting on, but this place is pretty cool. <sighs> oh, Okinawa, love. Okinawan, Okinawa lover, that's what it says. Beautiful. The sun is probably setting behind us, like Evie just said, um, but it's really windy. So in December in Okinawa, please bring a light jacket like my kids informed me because it's kind of chilly at night and in the morning. <sighs> But it's really beautiful up here. It's kind of like a lookout point. You can, if it were sunny, if it were sunny, you could see the whole ocean line, everything that way, the ocean. It's really nice. And then after this, we are going somewhere really special. I will not mention, but that will be the end of the video. I swear, I promise that will be the end. <laughs> I know this is a long video. I apologize in advance, but I mean, it's Okinawa. You gotta do everything and anything you can. So, yeah, but this is really nice. We're going to watch the sun set and just chill and enjoy this. And, yeah. Okay, so we are at the Botanical Gardens and it is illumination time. There's everything around me. We're also gonna get something to eat here because your girl's hungry. We have not eaten since the cafe at 12. So yeah, we're gonna eat. Wow, it's beautiful. It's wow, wow. No, I wanna go eat first. <laughs> Cause I can't be asked to do anything right now. But yeah, we're gonna do all that. It's gonna be great. I got food. I got Evie. <laughs> and I got a show. And finally, we have come to the botanical gardens to see the beautiful Christmas lights. This is probably one of Okinawa's most famous things to do during this time of the year. Um, it is right across the street from the base, so there were a ton of foreigners. Most of the staff, in fact, spoke English. Um, and we were able to see all of the exhibit. The, the park is massive, so you have tons of different photo spots. And for this year in particular, Pikachu was doing a debut. So they had a kids area set up with a lot of Pokeballs and Pokemon, and it was just really cute. Like all the kids were really enjoying all the lights and stuff. And honestly, it's quite romantic. So if you did want to come here during December, um, just bring a light jacket and enjoy the lights. I think you'd really enjoy looking at some of these. And I didn't, I purposely didn't film all of the lights because I wanted to leave some for you guys to see in case they do the same show for the next year. Okay, so we are gonna sign off here. It has been a very long, very busy day. We are still at the Botanical Gardens, but we're gonna leave soon. We had fun today. We did. We, we did. did. The only thing that didn't go right was the Doraemon door, but you know, we'll be back. We'll be back. But yeah, so now I'm officially going to say goodbye to you guys. See you, have a good night. Like, comment, and subscribe for more Evie for more me okay and once again happy new year if I have not said that already and I will see you guys in the next video bye in the next video yeah so basically we were walking down the stairs just just like a bonus section we were walking down the stairs and Evie said oh no because we were going the wrong way and these like people were coming up the stairs with a pram with, with a baby stroller with a baby stroller because oh. we don't know what a pram is and 
And she said, oh no. And then I said, oh no. And then she said it again. And these three little kids that were next to us were like, oh no, oh no, oh no. The whole way down the stairs. Yes. And I would not be, I, I probably wouldn't be exaggerating if they were still saying it. <laughs> probably. Like, yes. It was so cute. They weren't like English speaking kids. Like These Japanese, are Japanese children. They, they heard us and they're like, oh no, oh, it's cute, no. too cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, on a brighter note, or less bright note, there are so many foreigners in Okinawa, oh my god. Like, I don't feel like I'm in Japan, I'm in another country. This is called America 2.0.